guys, this is Maya Alochi, and in this video we will learn about ketoenol tautomerization reaction, how to convert keto to its enol form, and also we will have to, an example where we will have to predict whether a molecule is capable of forming an enol or not. So we will go through all of this right now. Ketoenol tautomerization is a reaction that converts keto form into the enol form and enol form back to the keto form. So there is an equilibrium be between these two forms of a molecule. Keto form has C double bond O bond and enol form comes from the word en and all. En means that there is a double bond and all means that we have an alcohol. So when we have a carbon with OH, next to a double bond that is called an enol now keto form can be converted into enol form under acidic conditions or it can be converted to enolate forms under basic conditions in this case we will do keto enol tautomerization under acidic conditions so let's go ahead and see the mechanism what what happens in the mechanism is that the oxygen on this carbonyl group takes the hydrogen from H3O+, so it gets protonated, and then the water attacks hydrogen on the carbon next to the double bond O. Now, this step is really, really, really important. So, in order for the enol to form, we must have a hydrogen on the carbon that is next to the double bond O. This hydrogen is called alpha hydrogen. So, if my molecule has alpha hydrogens, then it will be capable of forming an enol. And if it has, if it's not symmetrical like this one, if it has different groups on both sides, then we can form multiple enol products. So once the water takes this hydrogen, the bond between the carbon and the hydrogen breaks to form a double bond here. And these electrons go up to the oxygen. So we have OH and a double bond next to it and this molecule is called an enol. We also have a mechanism on how to go back and I will continue to you in another video. But for now, let's just, let's just summarize that uh, there is an equilibrium between a keto and an enol form and a keto form is when we have C double bond O and an enol form is when we have C with an OH next to a double bond. And let's go ahead and look at this question and try to answer it correctly. So let's see what this question is asking us. It says, which of the following have an enol form? And it gives us different choices. First of all, let's draw this. So the first one is benzaldehyde. So let's draw our benzaldehyde. That's a benzene molecule with an aldehyde on it. And it's going to look like this. Next is... 2,2-dimethylpropanel, nal means we have an aldehyde, prop means there are three carbons, so we will draw three carbons and we will put an aldehyde on the first carbon and it says 2,2-dimethyl, so if I number my molecule like this, 1, 2, 3, the aldehyde group gets number 1, we have 2,2-dimethyl, so one methyl group and another methyl group and that's my second choice. And our third choice is 2-chloropropanel. So again, we have propanel. So we will draw our, our um, aldehyde. One, two, three. And on the second carbon, we have a chlorine. And these are our choices. So let's now go ahead and look through the question again. Look through our choices and figure out which one will be correct. It says, which of the following have an enol form? What does it mean? How can we identify whether a molecule has an enol, can have an enol form or not? Well, in order for the enol tautomerization, ketoenol tautomerization to happen, the most important thing is I must have alpha hydrogen, which is a hydrogen on the carbon next to the double bond O. So what I will have to do to each one of my answer choices is I will have to look and see whether they have alpha hydrogens or not. If they have, if a molecule has an alpha hydrogen, it is capable of forming an enol. If it does not have an alpha hydrogen, it is not capable of forming an enol. And let's go ahead 
and go through our answer choices to see which one or which multiple ones we will see will be correct. So let's start with number one. I have C double bond O. Do I have an alpha hydrogen? An alpha hydrogen, again, is a hydrogen that is on the carbon next to double bond O. So let's go ahead and we will change our color a little bit and make it thicker to see are there any alpha carbons on this molecule. So this is my double bond O and this carbon is next to it, so that's an alpha carbon. I'm just going to go ahead and do it for all of these molecules. Is there an alpha carbon here? On this side it has hydrogen right away, so no alpha carbon, but on this side there is an alpha carbon here, a carbon next to the C double bond O. And let's look here, C double bond O, again on this side nothing, but on this side this is my alpha carbon. So now let's go ahead and change our color again and see, do my alpha carbons have any hydrogens on them? Remember, each carbon wants to have four bonds. This carbon has one, two, three, four bonds. It has four bonds already, so it does not have any hydrogens on it. So, the, so in choice number one, there is one, alpha carbon with no alpha hydrogen. So because there's there are no alpha hydrogens, this choice does not work for us. This molecule will not be capable of forming a ketone. And let's go to choice number two. Again, we said there's one alpha, alpha carbon. And let's just clarify, this is not an alpha hydrogen because it's a hydrogen on the C double bond O. Alpha hydrogen is a hydrogen that's on a carbon that is next to C double bond O. So it could be here, but here we see again that this carbon is connected to four other carbons. It has four bonds, therefore it has no hydrogens on it. And if it has no hydrogens, that means there are no alpha hydrogens in this molecule. So this molecule is not capable of becoming an enol. And let's go ahead and look at number three. For number three, we see that there is an alpha carbon on this side, and this alpha carbon has one, two, three bonds. Now, every carbon wants to have four bonds. So where is its fourth bond? It must be a hydrogen. Finally, there is a hydrogen on my alpha carbon, and this hydrogen is an alpha hydrogen. Therefore, molecule number three has an alpha hydrogen and it is capable of forming an enol. So that must be our correct answer. This is Maya Lochi. I really hope that you enjoyed my video. And if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to making more organic chemistry and general chemistry videos for you.